It was a job that younger children could do, not really little kids, but teenagers and middle schoolers could do and make a few dollars. I think we got a whopping 25 cents a pail back then. It's a short, short season. When you think about the cherries bloom Memorial Day and they're in pies in two months, it's a quick, quick season, and you've got to get the cherries off in a timely fashion. There's really only about two weeks where the cherries are ready to pick, and you've got to get them off then. The first couple of years were all hand picking, but very soon after, um, we got a limb shaker where you pull up with one tractor with a hydraulic arm and grab the main branches, like say there's maybe three main branches on a tree, and then there's another tractor that has the nets. They would start you early. If you wanted to pick cherries when you were seven and you only did five pails all day long, hey, that was a dollar and a quarter that you had that you wouldn't have gotten. But the teenagers, they were pretty ambitious. They would try and hit 100 pails a day because they were very competitive, and that was good. And you had to start early. I mean, as soon as you could see the cherries in the morning, that was the nicest time because it was cooler. And it got to be a pretty long day. I remember when we had the, the orchard with my in-laws and my mother-in-law telling me that it cost, at that time, that was in the 80s, about 27 cents a pound just to make cherries. That was cost of pruning, cost of the spraying, cost of harvesting. And we were getting 29 cents a pound to sell them. Doesn't take a mathematician to say, you're not going to become a millionaire doing this. So you need to have a few good years. And then of course, the next year you'd have storms come through and you wouldn't even make the 29 cents a pound. You don't need to go to Vegas, just be a farmer. You can gamble all you want. 